Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got two systems to uh, check out from you guys uh, in Discord. So massive thank you to the two guys for sending these uh, simulations in. So yeah, we've got one from the user Morp in Discord and the other from the user Mars the Planet in Discord. So we'll be getting uh, onto those just shortly. But before we begin guys, if you'd like to send in your own systems to this series, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description or you can let me know the name of your system in the comments. But please note Discord is a lot more reliable way of um, getting a system into you. Please uh, do that if possible. But yeah, that all said and done. We're just going to hop straight into this. So let's see what systems you guys have prepared for us uh, today. So yeah, the first system from the user Morp, it's called the uh, Victinus system. I believe is how you say this one. So let's go ahead and search it up. Let's see what we have got here. Right. He uh, didn't put any description in Discord. So let's see what we have got here. Okay. No description. Right. Let's see. So put labels on. Right, here is the parent star. It seems to have a slight orange colour tint to it by the looks of it there. Custom colours so with a nice uh, orange shade. It is, appears to be quite large, 38 AU. So this is uh, this is pretty big. I mean, if we compare it to uh, some of the other uh, big stars, if we just search up uh, Stefferson, for instance, the current biggest star. So where, whereabouts is uh, good old Stefferson? Uh, where, where are you at? Uh, west, there we go. So this is Stefferson, the largest current star. Quite a lot smaller. Because this is the size of a quasi star. This is. Let's just get a quasi star for a comparison. Yeah, this thing's basically a quasi star in size. So that is pretty big. Right, onto the planets. So we have got the closest object here. So object B. This thing is probably being absolutely roasted, being next to a star of such size. So yeah, this poor thing has been absolutely annihilated here. So here it is. So the surface obviously completely molten. Very, very hot here, all the way around. Yeah, this poor thing is just getting absolutely ruined by the uh, parent star here. Let's turn its interface up just so we can see it. But yeah, first object there. Looks awesome. Don't get me wrong as well. That does look really, really cool. But yeah, very, very dangerously close to the star. And then next object out. Again, we're still very close. I mean, a star like this, you're going to want to be way out here because this thing is crazy. Uh, what luminosity stat has it got? Actually, let's have a look. Luminosity. Yeah, pretty, pretty extreme. If we put zones on. Yeah, pretty, these are going to be pretty far out, the outer objects, I'm guessing. So, right, yeah, second object here. So, object C. So, this one as well, glowing hot, even hotter than the first planet. So, there we go. So, yeah, that is a pretty crazy system. I don't think anyone's ever done a system around a quasi-star. Even I haven't built a system around a quasi-star. So, yeah, pretty, pretty cool idea. I like it. So, right, next object out, we have got object D here, the first gas giant of the day. 389 the temperature here, so it's not as hot here. Uh, motion, we are 291 AU away from the parent star. So this is beyond the orbit of Neptune by miles. I mean, that is quite a considerable uh, change there. So 765 years. We're sort of getting into the Iris uh, make-make area of the solar system pretty much. We're pretty far out. Or Make-Make, that's how you say it. So... Yeah, object D. Nice shade of... Uh, and I, I like the gas giant colours on this one, I have to say. I think, I think with the glowing orange as well from the temperature, I think that is quite a nicely uh, picked colour options on that gas giant. Very nice indeed there. I do like that. Right, so object D. Now we're taking another bounce to object E over here. Let's just give it a trail. There's a glitch in the game at the moment. It changes object trails. Let's just fix that. Right, so what we got over here? This object looks so pretty crazy indeed. Look at all the pixely areas it may just be because we're in update 26 because this may have been made before update 26 so it may have uh, messed a few things up but yeah here it is here so there we go it looks really funky and um, with all that but yeah that probably just down to the game being weird you can see those weird line glitches are back as well um, which is rather annoying but yeah there is this object uh this one is yeah so we're getting pretty far out now 1800 years so if we put the uh, zones on again so down here still in the red area Right, now moving on, we've got an object with a blue trail. Oh, this is a nice looker. Look at this. So a nice blue shade. Obviously, I do like blues. I'm pretty biased to blues, but I really like the mix of the greys and the whites in there. So I think that is a very nicely made gas giant. Very nice indeed. Really, really like that. Well done with that. That is spot on. That is a really, really nice looking gas giant to me. So yeah, very nice indeed there. 88 degrees. We are now 5,000 in the orbit. So 1,000 AU as well. Right, we're getting a lot further out. Now we've got object G over here. Kind of reminds me of Jupiter's moon Europa on first looks, but with a bit of yellow on it. But yeah, if we zoom in here, we're still receiving light from the star, no problem, because we are still, obviously... I mean, look how big the star is. I mean, we are 1,500 AU away, but we're still receiving light, and the star is still very bigger than the sun is from Earth. I mean, this is just crazy how big this star is. Right, so this is 9,000 years orbit, 9,500. The next one's got to be, like, 15, surely. Orbital period, 0 0.03 million years. How many is that in years? 
31,000. That was double what I predicted. Wow. This one looks to be habitable, though. Look at this. Hey, so it's actually got yeah, oceans, 14.5 degrees. That is looking very nice. Uh, composition, scroll down, 92 and 12. So we have a habitable planet around the uh, mighty Quasi Star. So if we look around, Quasi Star getting a little further out now. Um, to motion, we are, yeah, 31,000. <laughs> 0 0.05 light years. I mean, that is. That's pretty crazy. So very long orbit here. But yeah, very nice looking world, I'd say. I like the white uh, snow patches. I like the very sort of army green surface. These like light yellows. I think that does look very nice um, combined with the white and the blue oceans. Very nicely done indeed for this object. We can see a bit of glitches going on. But yeah, that's not really not really much can be done about that. But yeah, very nice object there. That is definitely my favourite object so far out of all of them, I have to say. Right, and on to the last um, one of this short but sweet system. We have got object H. So this is just even further out. We're still receiving light from the star. Uh, how far are we away from now? 0 .0 0 0.1 million years. So if we put that in regular years, yeah, 100,000 years. 0 0.1 light years. Look at that. Oh, my. 0 0.1 light years away. That is a massive distance. There's a star. It still appears bigger. I mean, would you say that's bigger than the sun is from Earth? I mean, that is still pretty large. I mean, if we land just on the cloud layers here, on the gas giant, if we look up, I mean, that's still... That's still pretty big in the sky. I mean, that's probably is roughly half of the sun is from Earth, actually. But yeah, we're, we're 0 0.1 light years away. That is that is absolutely crazy. But yes, yeah, so let's just get a full lineup of this system. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. Very short but sweet as well. I really like it. I, I have to say, very nice um, object choices. Nice mixture of different stuff. Obviously, we've got the quasi star as well. That is definitely a highlight for me. Here's that gas giant we saw earlier. I definitely like the look of that. We can see its other colors now. Yeah, there we go. So that gas giant there. We have the sweet looking blue one. Obviously, I'm biased towards blue. I do like the blue there. Very nice. But yeah, favorite object for me has got to be this one. I just love the light yellow with the white and the blue oceans. I think it looks great. So yeah, that is my favorite. And then obviously the other ones, we've got the very hot ones, the ones that are closer to the star. So there are all of those. Apart from this one, this one was quite far out, wasn't it? But yeah, I think very, very nicely done indeed. So yeah, that was created by the user um morp in discord so massive thank you to them for sending this simulation in now moving on to the second system of today's video so this is from mars the planet it is on the workshop i've already got it downloaded ready to roll so if we go to workshop right uh, subscribe right uh where are we so if it would load it is called i think it's this one here the wasp uh, 185 let me just check yeah the wasp 185 73 oh god what's going on there what's that uh, was 18573 plus 0174 systems. Let's see what Mars the planet has prepared for us today. So, right, okay, we've got some reading. Right, welcome to whoever's looking at this. Uh, the Wasp uh, 18573 plus 0174 system. I know that it's a complicated name. It's supposed to be realistic. Yeah, fair news. All right, the main star. Right, so not much to look at, but it appears to be a yellow dwarf like our sun, roughly. A little smaller than mass, though, as we can see there. A little less in temperature, but it seems to have a custom yellow shade to it. Um, with the uh, interface there, but yeah, there we go. So there is the star, right? To so zoom in out, if we put, uh, we'll put, yeah, we'll use orbits. There we go. Right. So first object. It looks like we've got some objects darkened out as well. So let's just put. We'll change the background just so we can see the, the things a little easier. Because yeah, there's a glitch in the game. It just makes all trail dark. So yeah, now now we can see. We'll just go on a, a darker green, but yeah, we can still see those orbits in there. So we'll have to manually. Zoom, I guess let's just go. Over, I don't want to go over back. Right, but I just want to be able to read the dark letters. Yeah, okay, we'll roll with that one. That's fine. So uh, let's close that down. Right, there we go. So first object here. So this is... Um, we can't even see it yet. Right. Ooh, okay. And oh, no, this is the second one. Okay, so where's the first one? There's a moon around that as well. So is it this one? So it's really weird with the dark trail. So we'll just manually have to fix these uh, while we're on the job here. So let's just... Okay, I spotted the first one. I've just seen it. Right, um, we'll just put this one to, um, before we head there, we'll just put that to green. Right, yeah, it is here. I spotted it. Yeah, here we go. This is the first object. But yeah, completely invisible due to the weird background color. Right, but at least we've got the list so we can spot where everything is. So, there we go for that one, Ray. Right, so the um, uh, Visipo. The first planet is a hot Jupiter, really close to its star. It has no moons and that's it. So, there we go. So, so yeah, there's its stats. So, 100 degree, 166 degrees. Uh, radius, a little, little smaller than, uh, obviously, the stuff we know. Um, if we go to uh, kilometers... A little, actually, it's larger than Uranus and Neptune, actually. So, yeah, fair dude. It's just a little, uh, yeah, smaller, smaller on the gas giant scale, though. Obviously, half the size of Jupiter there. But yeah, there we go. So, that's the first object. Right, next object out is uh, Cornus. This is the green one we saw. Let's uh, head over to you. Right, uh, a beautiful and habitable planet, which has a moon, Cornus B, also known as um, Balamuria. I 
Oops, I say that. So if we just open this one up. Ooh, nice blue shade on that. Look at that. Right. So we'll just uh, put that in there. So they're in a binary, as we can see. Right. So here's the green one. So this is a uh, Hatchable Planet. Very nice. Uh, lime green with blue and yellow. Pretty extreme color choices over there. It is. Looking good. Right. And then here is the moon. So they're in a binary at the moment. Uh, it, far from its planet. Also beautiful as well. Depends on the preference. It's purple with light blue. Yeah, it's a nice shade of like indigo-y sort of purples in there. Looking good. So there is our moon. Right. Now, hopping out to the next object. Okay, so Var Borono is the next one. Apologies for any scrapping of pronunciation, as always. Right, average gas giant. A bit bigger than Uranus and Neptune. Uh, um, it has a... Oh, than Uranus with Uranus like rings. So yes, you can see the rings in there. Yeah, you can see them. If you look carefully on the background, you can see them uh, hidden in there as well. So there it is. Um, and it has a moon called uh, Janji here. It's got some oceans on it. Look at that. Hatchball. Oh, that's, a, that's a nice looking one. I like, I like the sort of desert like yellow on it. That's looking good. Um, so the moon inhabited by an intelligent species that has already built major cities. Any cities? Yeah, you go. Look at that. Hey, that's a nice. I like this. Um, looking down here. Let's scroll down, uh, 66 and 31, so some nice stats on there. Got some polar caps as well, see some white bits on the top there. Sweet looking world, very nice. So there's Janji. Right, oh, there's another one over here. It's second hidden one, but yeah, blacked out because of this uh, really annoying glitch. So there we go, let's just put it over there so you can see it. Right, here we go. Oh, okay, it's an asteroid, okay. Um, uh, look at that. Uh, really dark, it's an asteroid of really dark colours. We can see some dark purple, sort of dark, sort of uh, light blue, or dark cyan blue, I should say, not light blue. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, black purple and a, a blue shade there. Righty, now, taking the next jump out, what we got next? Right, so this is uh, this one down here, so scrolling down. Oh, it's got some impacts on it, right. A planet larger than Earth with large craters and lava on the surface caused by collision with an Earth moon size object. I didn't even know you could save collisions. I guess you can now. Oh, look at that. Hey. This is the first time we've ever seen it, really. We've never seen collisions that have been saved in simulations. I didn't even know that was a thing. But yeah, there you go. So object with saved collisions. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Right, so yeah, this was... Um, look at that. Where are we? Um, planet larger than Earth with large craters, lava on the surface. Yeah, that is a pretty cool one. Yeah, I've never seen before anything like this. That is really, really cool. Right. So there we go. Uh, I guess in stat wise, it's not going to be too happy here. Just with it's got some stats that, as we can see. I mean, I think it does it contain any water? A uh, gas and plasma. Okay, well it has been collided with, but yeah, there's that one. So that's a really new one. Never seen anything like that. First time we've seen a object with saved stuff like that. Right. Next up, we have got uh, Melis Two, rocky planet larger than Jupiter, the Uranus-like tilt and atmosphere. Okay, so it's tilted on its side like Uranus. It's got obviously um, a light bluish sort of atmosphere shade on it there. Clouds. Um, we can check the um, stats on the sky. Click it. Oh, there we go. Yep. Uh, 29 and 2.27 on the life. So if we look, yeah, no water on here, but yes, uh, pretty large. 1.23 masses of Jupiter. Or a radius of Jupiter, I should say. Six masses of Jupiter on it. So yeah, pretty, pretty large rock there. That's Melis 2. Right, jumping out. So the next one is a failed star. Okay. Right. So failed star, brown dwarf. There's a brown dwarf really far away from Wasp. So it's very dark here. Obviously, we're not receiving much light anymore. If we look at the motion, 50, well, 59.1 years away, 13 AU roughly. So we're roughly in this sort of Saturn, Uranus sort of distances around this sort of area. I mean, I'd say probably more Saturn, isn't it? 59 years, it's more Saturn-like. Um, so yeah, failed star. Right, pretty cool. Right, and then that appears to be it. So he says, I really hope you enjoyed this custom system since it took a long time to make and, and a really long time to, oh yeah, really long time to write the description. So goodbye. Welcome to whoever's looking at it. Well, uh, yeah, I'm glad I, I enjoyed it. Nice um, nice system. So um, it's supposed to be more realistic. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. It's not like over the top with like crazy objects. It's got a nice mixture of everything. I mean, some of the colors are obviously a little extreme, but yeah, I mean, I like it. Obviously, the naming, all the all the numbers and stuff. Yeah, that is um, definitely more realistic than some of the other stuff we get. Um, so yeah, very nice indeed. Let's uh, scroll down. Oh, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this custom system and long time. Yeah, so that's everything. Right, cool. Looks like it may have copied and pasted the same text over and over again. But yeah, there we go. So that is um, everything. So yeah, that all said and done, guys. A massive thank you um, again to the two guys who sent their systems in today. So we had the user Mork and then the user Mars the Planet. So a massive thank you to those two for sending them in. I think we had some yeah two pretty uh, two pretty um, sweet systems today, guys. So yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed that. Let us know any thoughts and opinions down below in the comments um, of this video. And again, obviously, if you'd like to send in your own systems for this series, make sure to uh, join my Discord server. Link in the description, preferably, and then you can uh, send your uh, systems in on there. But before we finish up, I think my favourite object in this one. It's got to be, it's got to be this one. 
the collisions that's something so new we've never had that before and then yeah this moon as well i did quite like the moon with the nice like indigo colors and yeah this one as well i think this actually may be my favorite oh, out of them all i really really like the, the way that is made so yeah massive thank you um again for them and yeah really enjoyed the systems guys yeah awesome stuff but yeah that all said and done guys let's even go for 30 likes on today's video um if you like um yeah if you like my stuff then yeah make sure to uh subscribe help us on the journey to 18,000 subscribers guys yeah we made massive progress past 17 now a massive thank you again um for that so yeah let's see if we can get maybe 18 by december that'll be our little goal so yeah with that all said and done though make sure you have a great day guys stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye